to and it's for nurse i am putting together some little mini meatloaves for my husband and myself i'm going to make a big batch and freeze some for later so if you would like a simple easy low point mini meatloaf recipe if you're that kind of girl or guy stick with me and here we go the ingredients i'm going to be using today i like the 93% lean ground beef, and I actually have 36 ounces of this. So this is gonna make quite a few little meatloafs. I have some thyme, I have some oregano, I have sugar-free ketchup, one egg, some minced garlic, some avocado oil, some hearty multi-green hot cereal, salt and pepper, and some Worcestershire sauce. So let's get started. Oh, did I say an onion? I have one medium onion diced. This is gonna be a modified recipe. I will put the recipe down below, but I am modifying it for less points. Um, yeah, and the ingredients that I have on hand. So here we go. Put one teaspoon of avocado oil in the pan. Excuse the mess. I just made some cabbage roll soup. So that one is done for meal prep. But anyway, one teaspoon of the avocado oil in the pan and we're going to put the onions in. To the onions, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of my minced garlic. And then I'm going to saute this until the onions are transparent. These are looking nice and caramelized. I'm gonna add some of my spices. I am putting a half of a tablespoon of thyme in the mixture. And then I'm gonna put about the same amount of some oregano in my mixture here. And I turn the heat off and I'm just gonna let those sit there for a second and cool off. And now comes the ground beef part. All right, my ground beef is in a bowl. I'm adding one third of a cup of this multigrain cereal. This is going to act as a binder with the one egg that I'm gonna add in. I'm also adding a third of a cup of the sugar-free ketchup. And we're gonna add about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So we'll just add that in there and we're gonna mix it all up. And we're probably gonna use our clean hands and I probably need to take my ring off. I'm also gonna add salt and pepper to taste. Um, I just do quite a few grinds of, you know, salt, sea salt and pepper. So you season it the way you want or you can follow the recipe down below. As soon as your onions and herbs have cooled down, you're gonna add them to this mixture and then you wanna mix this together. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees. All right, we've mixed it all together. It smells amazing. Now let's put it into our pan. This is my favorite pan to use for this recipe. This is the Pampered Chef Mini Brownie Pan, I guess, but I use it for all kinds of stuff, muffins and meatloaf and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna put three ounces in each compartment. What I use is my Weight Watcher scale. I put the pan on the scale, I zero the scale out, and then I add three ounces to one compartment just so I can see about how much that is. Don't forget to spray your pan or your little meatloafs are gonna stick. So that is about three ounces, so I will form that and put it in the pan. Yep, that fills up almost an entire little compartment. So I'm gonna fill all of these compartments up. I have enough to make, I think, four more of these. So I will also add a little dab of the sugar-free ketchup to the top of each one of these because I like that flavor. So each one of these is gonna be four points. All right, these are all ready to go in the oven. These little guys are gonna cook for 30 minutes at 350. Let's drink some water while that's cooking. All righty, these little guys are done. It's been 30 minutes. So what you wanna do with these is let them rest uh, because it is a lean meat. You don't want them to be really dry. So I let these cool off a little bit before serving. But there they are, they are four points a piece. And I usually have two and I have like, you know, some sort of side. I think tonight we're gonna do green beans and potatoes. Um, 
yeah, and that's it. All right, guys, so that's that. I'm going to let those rest and serve them up for dinner. I hope this was a fun video. Let me know what you think and if you try this recipe. Again, like I said, I modified it. I will put the original recipe down below. It has more veggies and just different things. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay in orbit. I'll see you again on the channel. Bye.